Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, Year Way Slam Reviewer, and I'm here to review the film Jungle. And this film is directed by Greg McLean and written by Justin Morjo. And this is starring Daniel Radcliffe. And this is a film about some young men who meet a tracker and they're going through jungles in South America. And really, basically, this is The Revenant in a jungle instead of the wilderness no bear in it and no really interesting characters in it sad to say so the thing is this film really stood out to me in terms of how it was made and not the actual connection that I felt for this film I felt the same kind of connection to this character as I did to Leonardo DiCaprio's character in The Revenant where it was just like I feel bad because this guy's been through so much. Not that I actually know this person or he has a lot of depth to this person and I think they're an interesting, connectable character. It's just they've been through a lot of stuff and I kind of just really want this to end for them and for them to get out okay. The issue with this film is that it kind of keeps going and I don't feel like this film needed to be two hours. And this greg mclean does a fantastic job of keeping up this film for a while but honestly don't blame him towards the end on why this film starts puttering out i blame the writing because it just gets repetitive and after a while it's just like how much more can we just watch of the same basic kind of stuff happening to this guy until it finally ends and i put that on justin morjo who wrote the film and honestly, there's not a whole lot of very interesting characters in this film to really warrant us sitting through these two hours really taking on this film. And for more than half of it, you're spending a lot of time with just Daniel Radcliffe lost in the jungle. And after a while, it's the same thing over and over and just more stuff, hallucinations, weird stuff, and like, it goes places. Kind of like in The Revenant, the whole burning of the hole in his neck part, there was a part like that, that really like, ooh, really got to me. And I'm just like, oh god, why am I watching this kind of thing. And honestly, the really the only interesting character in here is this tracker guy that they're following. And he's played by Thomas Christman, who surprisingly plays the main vampire antagonist in Blade 2. And then was Baron von Strucker from the um the avengers age ultron film which he doesn't really get anything to do in that film but he was really good in this i enjoyed him and daniel ratcliffe does a really good job of portraying the strain and the struggle that his character is going through and surprisingly believable accent it was a little weird but i think it worked throughout this film the issue is I didn't feel an emotional connection to this character and I don't feel like this film hit super emotionally it's more of this person is going through all these things and the audience feels like they're going through it too so it's like how much can you endure sitting through this film that's the kind of feel that I got but the big positives about this film that I'm going to get into now are how this was technically made because Stefan Duccio who did the cinematography for this. This is a gorgeous film. The colors are fantastic, the way this is shot, the action sequences. There's a particular there's particular scenes on water rapids and it is jarring and perfectly edited and beautifully shot and it's really shaking you up but not to the point where you lose focus on what's going on around you, which is important for an action sequence and they do that very well in this film and the shots are great. The, when there's like a hazy dreamy kind of hallucination kind of feel to it that's really impactful and powerful and the music by Johnny Clem Clemek is very powerful and it elevates the scenes and brings tension throughout the film and from a technical standpoint that's where this film really stands out from an actual I feel connected with this character and well written standpoint not really but from a technical survivalist film I think this really works and that's why this is going to get a higher grade than you might expect but it did work on that level for me 
I did want to say Alex Russell and Joel Jackson, who played the two other young men in this, I felt really didn't bring anything to when they were super forgettable and like what the Joel Jackson who was playing the one character just felt so whiny and just annoying and it's just like I want you to go away just go I don't want to listen to you anymore and that kind of got annoying which gets resolved but overall this is a very tense and well-made film but lacks connection to make this really devastating if you felt more of a human connection with this character which they attempt to with like flashbacks and stuff like that but if you did really connect with that character as a person I felt like this film would have worked better but from a technical just watching this film and survivalist film I'm gonna give Jungle a B minus